Okay, let's poach some eggs now. Poached eggs are really nice if you want to put them on top of a salad or have them as a breakfast treat. There's no added fat, so they're really good for you and they taste delicious, a nice runny center. The first thing you want to do is take your egg and crack it into a bowl. This is, uh, there, well, there are many ways to poach eggs and you'll read different methods from everybody, but this I think is a more foolproof method than others. I've got a ladle handy and I'm going to spray it with just a little kitchen spray. You can also just spread a little olive oil or even butter in it. That's just so my egg won't stick. So now that I've got a perfectly cracked egg and a perfectly oiled ladle, I'm going to put the egg into the ladle and I'm going to gently lower it into my simmering water. That'll start to cook it before I just release it into the water in general. Come, let's have a look. Okay, I've got a simmering pot of water right here. There's about an inch and a half of water in the pot. You want kind of a shallow pan. But before I add my egg, I've got a little white vinegar. This is a champagne vinegar. I'm going to add it to the water. This is going to help my egg whites set more quickly. So now that I've got vinegar in my gently simmering water, if it's boiling too much, the eggs, egg whites are just going to break apart. I'm just going to lower it into the water and start the egg cooking. Then I'm going to let just a little water start to seep into my egg in my ladle. See how quickly that starts to cook? Once the whites start to set a little bit, I can turn it upside down into the boiling water. Now what you can do is use a spoon to just keep the whites right over top of the yolk. This will make for a prettier presentation when we're all finished. I could probably poach three more eggs in this pot, but I wouldn't do any more than four at a time. You just have to keep a close eye on them. After about three minutes, the eggs will be nice and set with the white. The white part will be nice and set and the yolks will still be soft and runny. So let's just let it poach gently for a few minutes and we'll come back and look at the finished product. Okay, it looks like the egg is finished poaching. I'm going to gently remove it from the water with a slotted spoon to try and drain some of that water. I'm actually going to put it here in a little bowl of this is cold water. The reason I'm doing that is stopping the cooking for the first, for one, one point, and the second point is you want to rinse off some of that vinegar that was in the water. Now that it's done, I can serve it. I've got a beautiful salad here. I'm just going to remove it from the water. It's nice to put it on a little paper towel and drain off some of that water. You don't want a soggy egg on your salad. Okay, and gently just lift it up and place it right on top. A little salt and pepper. This is one of my favorite ways to eat poached egg. The runny yolk gets all over these beautiful mixed greens, just lightly tossed with a little olive oil and vinegar. It's a delicious light dinner or even a breakfast. The other thing you can do with the egg is once you've removed it from the cold water, just put it on a baking tray on a paper towel. You can line up all your poached eggs here, put them in the refrigerator, and they'll keep for a couple of days. Cover them, of course, with some plastic wrap. That way you can make your poached eggs in advance for when you have a big party and you want to serve a salad with poached eggs or any other kind of a dish. Bon appetit!